Hello everybody. Welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are going to solve a problem based on one dimensional body. body. Let us first try to describe what is given in the problem. The problem is like this. The motion of a particle along a straight line is represented by an equation. So let us take that as a equation and try to start solving the problem. It is given that the displacement of the particle is given as 6 plus 4t square minus t power 4 that was given in SI system. Now you want to calculate velocity and acceleration velocity first and acceleration at t equal to 2 seconds. There is a third part of the problem. We will go to that later later. First let us sort out these two parts. Yeah. You know velocity is defined as rate of change of displacement. So if the displacement is given who is variable with respect to time. If I want to calculate the velocity I shall differentiate the displacement function with respect to time that is d by dt of 6 plus 4t square minus t power 4. Let us differentiate this. Differentiation of 6 who is a constant is 0 then differentiation of 4t square 4 is a constant d by dt of t square minus d by dt of t power 4 you know there is a formula what is that formula is differentiation of x power n is equal to n into x power n minus 1 it's a basic formula in differentiation i want to use this formula that implies velocity v equal to 4 into differentiation of t power 2 that is 2 into t power of 2 minus 1 minus differentiation of t power 4 that is 4 into t power of 4 minus 1 so velocity value will be 4 into 2 8 t power 2 minus 1 is t minus 4 t cube this is the velocity of the body Suppose you want the velocity at t equal to 2 seconds. Just substitute the t equal to t in the above equation. V equal to 8 into 2 minus 4 into 2 cube. That is 8 into 2 is 16. 8 into 6. This 2 cube is 8. 8 into 4 is 32. That's nothing but equal to minus 16 meter per second that's the velocity of the body at a given instant of two seconds now let's go to the next part of the problem he's saying that i want the acceleration you know acceleration is basically defined as rate of change of velocity we have just now calculated velocity after differentiating displacement with respect to time and we got that value as 8t minus 4t cube again the same formula differentiation of x power n equal to n into x power n minus 1 so differentiation of ht will be 8 t power of 1 is there that is 1 into t power 1 minus 1 that's nothing but yeah t power of 1 is there if I apply that formula n into x power n minus 1 n is 1 t power of 1 minus 1 minus 4 t cube that is 3 into t power of 3 minus 1 t power of 1 minus 1 is uh, t power 0 t power 0 is 1 8 into 1 is 8 minus 4 into 3 t square is nothing but equal to 12 c square now suppose you want acceleration at t equal to 2 seconds I simply need to write that to 8 minus 12 t square is nothing but equal to 2 square 8 minus 4 into 12 48 so acceleration is minus 40 meter per second square which tells you that the body is not accelerating 
whether the body is a retarding in the given scenario. That's the second part of the problem. We have a third part of the problem. What is that is? What is the average velocity of the body during the third second? I want to write <coughs> the velocity of the body in the third second as average velocity in third second as simply distance traveled or displacement traveled in third second by third second is nothing but equal to that one second itself. So what I need to calculate is now distance traveled in third second. It is simple. I want to write distance or displacement being a straight line motion both are same. In third second is displacement in total 3 seconds minus displacement in total 2 seconds. I know the equation for displacement it is already given for you. SC is 6 plus 4 t square minus t power 4. So I can calculate S in total 3 seconds is 6 plus 4 into 3 square minus 3 power 4. If you simplify this, you will get this answer as minus 39 meters. Similarly, the S in 2 seconds I want substitute that value 6 plus 4 into 2 square minus t power 4 that is 6 plus this is 4 and 4 16 and 2 power 4 is also nothing but equal to 16. So the 16 and 16 will cancel and get an answer of 6 meters. Therefore, I can get average velocity as displacement covered in 3 seconds minus displacement covered in 6 in 2 seconds. So you can see this minus is because I have got it in the problem. This minus is because average velocity is the displacement in 3 seconds minus 2 seconds by 1 second. That's nothing but equal to minus 45 meter per second. This is how I can solve the problem. And what all I am using is simply nothing but the basic equations of motion to solve these problems. Thank you very much for being with this and you are most welcome for more and more video lessons. Thank you.